So let's have a talk here about the markets to trade. I always get this question, especially at the Learn Trade Live weekend course. I mean, what markets should uh, a new trader be trading and what markets do we trade? Well, the first things first, you've got to think about are you a day trader or a swing trader? Now, there are plenty of markets here to trade the major currency pairs, the miners and these exotics. I do not touch the exotics which are over here on the right hand side. I mean, they are lively markets. I've never traded them. Uh, I don't need to trade them. So just stay away from some of these markets because, you know, Mexican peso can move up to a thousand points a day. And if you are inexperienced, then you're going to struggle and just avoid it, guys. Don't, don't bother going into that market. But really starting from the major currencies, there's a few reasons why I trade the, mar uh, the majors. Number one, this spreads. So I like to spread bet the market. If you're trading the euro dollar, you're talking about a spread. This is the cost for trading in a spread betting account of probably something like 0 0.6, 0 0.8. If you start getting above one point spread on the euro dollar, then it's starting to get a little bit expensive. Um, so I like to trade the euro dollar, but there is a bit of a challenge with it at the moment, and that is that it's got an average true range of, let's take a look at the average true range. Just dive into the chart here. If it just goes to the indicator section and grab the average true range. So this is giving you a reading of how much uh, this market moves over the last 14 days, average price, average market day market movement over the last 14 days. Change that period if you want to. Um, I like to keep it as default. You can see this is the line down here. You can see it's 51 pips a day. So at the moment, the euro dollar, which is the main market that I trade, because the spreads are nice and tight and uh, it is the most traded currency pair, is only trading with a 51 pip range. So if I'm a day trader and I'm looking for 20, 30 points out of this a day, then I've got to be doing some pretty precise trading here because the range, it only moves within 51 pips on average over the last 14 days. And you've got to compare that to a Mexican peso, which can move much more violently. Um, and let's have a little look at the pound US dollar. And this will be a little bit higher. So it's here, the pound US dollar is 105 pip range. Now that for me is, is good. I want to be trading this as a day trader because the spreads are tight. I mean, the spreads at the moment because of Brexit are, um, you know, we're just around the one pip mark and possibly going out to two pips because of Brexit. Uh, the, the brokers will widen their spreads. They don't, want to be they don't want to be losing money, so they'll widen their spreads, guys, especially with the vote this evening, Tuesday evening in Parliament. That spread will widen. Um, but once it's, you know, all settled down, then the pound for me is just the one that I will turn to and trade the British pound. It's got a 105 pip range, and I would certainly want to trade that. Now, a lot of the New Zealand pairs are becoming much more popular. Now, I wouldn't necessarily trade a New Zealand currency, lovely pro trend system buyer pushing up here very nicely. I wouldn't necessarily be scalping this market because the spread, let's check the spread. That is three what 3.5 in the IG broker. So I wouldn't want to be day trading this, you know, going for you know some day trades and, and I'd want to be four hour time frame trading it or daily swing trading it because it has some really nice moves. Um, so I tend to stick to what I know. Crude oil as well, that's a good market, and gold is a good market to trade, of course, and the FTSE and the DAX. They're very good market to want to trade as a short-term trader, day trading or holding it for a few days. And pretty much any other markets, you can certainly swing trade, but just bear in mind that you don't want to spread your wings too wide. You don't want to be looking at so much that you lose um, focus on some of these markets. Start specializing a few markets to start with. Look at the left-hand side of that slide here. Just look at the left, see if you can turn to these ones. I don't particularly trade the dollar Swiss, I'd rather trade the euro dollar. An Aussie dollar can go into a bit of a lull sometimes as well. 
Euro sterling similar, but the Euro yen's a nice one to trade. Dollar CAD's nice. Watch out for Dollar CAD. It's got its own personality. It can go parabolic and straight up and straight down without pullbacks. Dollar yen as well is a nice one to trade. But once again, the ranges, the average true ranges decreased on the dollar yen as well. But it won't stay like that forever. It will start to come in. Volume will start to pick up in that market and we'll start to get some opportunities. So specialize in maybe four of these markets. Add the FTSE, add the DAX, because they're very popular markets. And you know these others are used for swing trading, really, besides the exotics. I don't really fancy going into those. I don't know those markets that well. I don't know their personality. And so my job is to make a return on investment, not to be clever trading markets that I don't really know. All right. So I hope it helps, guys. Got any questions? Let us know. And uh, hopefully see you on the next Learn to Trade Live event, which is in London. Speak to you soon. Take care.